uh, what do we have we have the feed uh, data so we're trying to extract uh, those feed files that you uh, have on your wearable devices it's called feed data we can make this smaller uh, we normally have an info file normally have an info file a uh, create a flask application it's a single page application should allow users to upload feed files and process it the uh, client side using javascript mm. yeah we had some trouble doing that we, we might change the approach a basic structure da, 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 da. i don't know what all that stuff we don't actually need that and it's not called the uh, climb data app it's called the uh, fit a uh, data we should change that we need all the a uh, capital letters correct yeah that's what it's called a uh, project structure I'll uh, provide you with uh, some uh, code and description of a project. We would like, however, to use another AI to actually generate the code. So we are using Visual Studio Code. We are using GitHub Copilot in it. So if you could provide instructions for the other robot to do the coding that would be great how does that sound uh, here is also some of the information for the project below the spelling mistakes um, are okay because the speech to text is not great yeah, I don't know what's what's going on with you today. You're not uh, listening. I said, don't actually generate the code. We have another AI doing the coding. If it starts uh, generating the code with four not, I want to quickly try GPT-4. I also asked for no dot points. No dot points points <laughs> it's actually adding an extra uh, a full stop i uh, asked no dot points in your responses okay i also realized the uh, structure is actually not updated so we'll use uh, github copilot to uh, up Update the structure. We need the workspace uh, handle and see if it can do it. We actually have a few example files. You want to see it? They actually should be included. They should be included. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, it keeps uh, reverting to a virtual using virtual environment we have the whole uh, a machine uh, dedicated for this project so we have a whole uh, machine dedicated for this project so we do not need to use virtual environments and uh, we don't actually yeah at this stage Okay, also at this stage, uh, we would not have a upload file option. Uh, we do have some example files in the data folder. Uh, we don't actually have that one. I don't know what it's talking about. Get rid of it. Yeah, so we had issues with that uh, feed pass uh, JavaScript file before don't think it's actually working 
and let's add this as a prompt uh, so we might have an issue with the feed parser mean javascript file is so um, yeah, the text to speech is annoying I might have to use CDN for this, but maybe we did get it from a CDN. Uh, we did get it from a CDN, but might need to download it and put it in a uh, to test. Yeah, test it out. That's right. Uh, this uh, updated project structure. Um, obviously, that's the Flask a backend but yes it's currently not doing anything or not doing much uh, it's essentially just serving the html yeah this html could use updating i uh, have the a upgs is primarily what we rely on the bot should know that well because it has most of the code uh get this minified minified we might uh, need to use the original uh feed passages okay now question uh, we're currently using a feed parser meaning js uh, however should we use the original full feed parser js instead let me know what you think keep responses short yeah while it's generating go check out the the website chaos.com and uh, pretty much all the tools that we are developing in the moment will appear on this site as well so let not to generate code but it still does this funny funny bit using the full fit parser.js instead of the minified version can be helpful for debugging and ensuring compatibility if you're experiencing issues with the minified version switching to the full version might resolve them test both versions to see which one works best for your needs yeah i like the short response but it's uh, not actually helping is it um Let's pop it into Copilot Workspace Handle. See what it says. I don't know if it can find the original uh, JavaScript file. It says, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Hey, okay, back to code development mode can you generate the html with the uh, proper appropriate feed parser javascript file hey, okay we have the html yeah we have the stars yes yes even though we have one for the whole project we'll fix it later yes yeah, so we're not uploading feed files anymore yeah we have a button that's okay we need to, yeah I remember it wasn't working previously so check if this feed pass is actually there it seem to be okay we'll run the application in a second see what it does so loading it from a CDN we also have a app js that's okay uh, potentially we do not need the feed pass and mean anymore are we actually using it somewhere no no okay, where is the feed passing actually happening oh come on a <laughs> uh, github cop a uh, where's the git the feed where is the feed passing should be actually happening uh, we would like to do as much as possible in the front end 
Opa, that doesn't have the bigger picture. It's a bit annoying. Okay, it's just generating the code for us uh, while I'm struggling with uh, GitHub Copilot. Because, yeah, have to be absolutely precise uh, with it, uh, with prompting it. Okay, we have pass feed uh, done. Oh, that's not it, is it? Uh, this JavaScript file is also unusual. Handles the input, reads the selected file, or fetches a default file. Okay. Uh, if it pass the library, pass data is in the pre in the pre element. This wouldn't work, would it? But there is only one way to tell it's by running. Uh, it's trying to fetch default bit which we don't actually have uh, it's actually trying to pass a feed file which we don't uh, currently have uh, see above which files we do have in the dot folder uh, could we just fix the necessary code uh, perhaps do not generate the whole code from scratch at this stage keeps generating code again shell script this generating the whole thing isn't it okay we have the file still getting an error uh, this uh, will attempt to fetch the pass available feed file so the file is there that's fine yep we had a similar error before actually try oh i was pretty sure i was able to switch uh, between models before the default doesn't support a uh, file attachments uh, let's keep suggesting a uh, why are we using instead of the original is it possible by any chance to pass the feed file ourselves? Ourselves keeps coming up with these uh, libraries. Now, none, none of these libraries actually seem to work. Uh, they don't have the JavaScript file. Uh, how hard would it be to process the data files from scratch in JavaScript ourselves. Those should be common, uh, common, common data format. Yeah, pass the header, passing data records. Okay, didn't that didn't quite work? But I like the idea of processing the data files from scratch using basic functions. Now, can we make sure the header uh, data is displayed on the front page and fix the above error 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 ah, hopeless <laughs> just send it as is uh, it's normally quite forgiving uh, just changing the html wouldn't work would it i have to change the whole front end code as well right so we have header size 14 a uh, protocol version 16 profile version yeah we have this other file as well um okay so the older file that i had somewhere somewhere online i think it was on github somewhere is a header size a uh, 14 protocol version 16 14 16 and it's Take an image of this quickly, and then we have the another one. So the original pro uh, to the profile version data size uh, was it sixteen? A uh, one of five. Why are they the same? I don't know. Could use a uh, more details. 
yeah i think that the uh, choose file doesn't actually work uh we need some sort of drop down let's address it and join the properly handle the offset and account for the end of the data view correctly so by generating our code again what changes were made information extracted blah, 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 blah. air handling offset adjustment okay okay it added about like two lines of code didn't actually help did it I'm not getting any errors nothing major but that's fine we don't care about that error for now hey we are getting the same result as before uh, can we make sure we're actually showing more or essentially all the available information about the data file uh, on the front page? Uh, also trying to understand why is this error is not shown in the browser. Uh, I'm still getting the same error. Can you give a general quick overview of how are you trying to fix this problem? We get GitHub Copilot is saying outside the bounds. Uh, propose fix check bounds before accessing the data. Data code adjust skipping logic for other uh, record dives. Skipping, skipping. Uh, GitHub Copilot did something. Did something better. Can we switch? Yeah, we can switch models now uh, without starting a new chat. Uh, let's see what GPT-4 does. I did notice before that it is producing slightly better results than 4.0 or 0.0.4.0. Oh. Well, all right, yeah, GPT-4 was able to do better than 4.0 uh, or oh, not 4.0, oh, whatever it's called. Is there a way to actually know what each field is uh, from the data in the file itself? doesn't have a description for each field. Yeah, we do have an information. There's a bunch of tools. I don't know why I need the SDK. Yeah, it was re released like a month ago. That's fine. Uh, okay, a couple questions. Things that I don't understand. Why do I need to download the SDK? I can. Is it just for getting the data from the device? Because uh, I I already got the data files from the device. Uh, moving forward, I am doing manual uh, parsing. So would the profile be essentially a text file explaining what each field is? Okay, still don't uh, get why I need to download uh, and uh, run the SDK. I already have the data files. Now, the feed protocol is uh, available on the website as well. Uh, a copy of it is below. Can you browse the following? I still don't understand a couple of things. Uh, uh, first of all, is the feed file used uh, by other manufacturers? Is it just a general file, file or is it uh, proprietary to Garmin? I think uh, not. Also, uh, what exact information is available in the header file? Isn't it telling me what each a bit of the data, whatever field, whatever it's called, actually holds? Okay, so if I have the protocol version and the profile version, should I just be able to look up online or in some sort of repository uh, what the contents of a specific data file actually contain. Still don't understand why do I need to download the SDK. 
considering it has uh, a very long terms and conditions thing, it's definitely not an open source thing. Is there something else that I can use or just uh, look up a specification file that meant to be a single text file uh, that describes the current protocol version and the profile version of the data file? Okay, so we got some files. Yeah, we do want to uh, understand uh, what's uh, in it. So we have version profile. Uh, what's it? 170. <laughs> what? There is everything except 170. Yeah, it's all the different the devices. It's actually meant to be a different profile version. Are we loading the correct file? Not sure we're loading the correct file. Uh, can we display the file name as well that we are currently loading? Uh, okay, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I have this uh, readme file. Uh, which meant to be a JavaScript uh, passing tools uh, for the data files we are working with. Now, also, another thing is, uh, did you mention that we can use uh, Node.js to actually use that uh, original a JavaScript file from the CD, CDN. Uh, can you provide more information on that one? Also, in our current version of the code, uh, can we display file name on the front page and potentially any other additional details either from the header of the feed file? Yeah, I'm not sure why so complicated uh, considering yes I get it there's a binary file but then the header should have most uh, necessary information okay I think the header still should have all the necessary information to be able to decode this file uh, can we look again at the code and uh, also display the file name on the front page. Also, instead of uh, choosing a file, can we just have a drop down menu with all the existing data files that are available in the data folder? Probably those uh, feed files, the original ones, that they have all these silly names for a uh, warm-up exercise name like no don't care about that water type fresh salt um okay tissue mode time this is a ballman's decompression algorithm version c okay dive gas status disable enable backup only dive alert um uh, can get rid of all the diving stuff <laughs> okay sleep level is interesting spo measurement more diving check for dive it's more diving stuff sounds of information embedded in or disabled in dive and uh, what are these numbers yeah and i'm uh, I'm interested obviously in the device that I have with some older device and that's the one I have. Uh, what's 256? Battery voltage. No way. Ah, uh, those are the different devices that again I don't particularly care about. Yeah, it seems like the device I have is not actually there. A uh, two one seven zero is nowhere to be found, and mine is actually cold, so that's how I know. 
Uh, this is inaccurate information because mine is actually called Vivo Active. I mean, how many possibly like devices they can possibly have? Uh, four, small or large, small Asia, large Asia, or LED. Um, yeah, okay, doesn't really matter though. Well, the profile version being returned is different. It's not actually existent, existent in the list. Then even if you do have a number that exists, then there is no explanation as to, you know, why would the lockup uh, be any different to anything else? So it should be those fields. So say this number here. And no. Okay, that's the profile. Ah, good luck, JS. Uh, let's get rid of it for a sec. Let's move in the whole folder source and test. Let's search, say, one of those numbers. Um, yeah. Any other number? Um, po -po -po. package, but that doesn't have much profile. A message number. Hey, this is rather complicated, isn't it? Hey, I think there might be something. And the, the display position. Estonian grid system. What? Multi sport, include all sports. That's not interesting. Flying. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. I mean, I didn't even think. Yes, yeah, so that's so, so first we learned that there's like a zillion of these uh, wearables. They're all uh, supposedly different because they're recording different things. Uh, auto scroll. Step duration, step target, goal, device generated, social network. No. Battery status. Okay, that could be important. Well, not really. It's either working or not. Like, why do we care? Have some uh, heart rate, a uh, beats per minute. Is it, what is it doing? Plus 100. Ah, it's like indicating a uh, 0 to 100 above 100 yeah i think it does like uh, high intensity is the workout is the number of uh, minutes in uh, above uh, 100 uh, bits per second actually not wearing it at the moment because it's pretty annoying on the wrist all the time wait i suspect those values might be hexadecimal or something why sometimes they are, sometimes they are. Can you read this file? Heart rate type, normal, irregular. A course capabilities. No, I can't directly read files like Excel spreadsheets. That's not cool. That's not cool. Light time. Max met heart rate source. It's a wrist or chest strap. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to it, which is, which is good, but uh, yeah, this is what we have so far. Yeah, we don't really need this button, do we? Pilot, explain this. The provided JavaScript code defines two classes, accumulate field and accumulator which are part of the system likely designed to handle processes that according to the flex, uh, the feed protocol. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Accumulated class, very specific field. This is necessary to extensibility. Yeah, it's way too complicated. All I need to know is uh, what the fields Ah, field one. I suspect these numbers are not in the correct format. 
Okay, this is interesting. Well, we have uh, the different feed files then at different devices and everything, aren't they? Uh, but then we also have, uh, I guess, the same files converted to CSV. Uh, can we update the file and folder structure for the entire project? It's supposed to be fetching all the files and folders in the folder in the project. Uh, so we have feed data up by templates, index.html, static JS, feed parser. Yes, we're not actually using those. Now we would like to pass those as CSV files. Yeah, all I need to know is what each one of those uh, field uh, labels actually means. Alternatively, we could uh, we could look at the CSV files because some of them were already converted. And so we're trying to pass feed files, but essentially it's files from one of those uh, wearables. There, gazillion of different types. Uh, feed file meant to be. Can you look at this decoder JS? Isn't this? All we need to be able to parse the bit files correctly. Uh, the fact that we also have CSS uh, files, so essentially feed files converted to CSS, so should we be using those instead? They uh, should be more straightforward to use. They're not binary. Uh, so I mean the CSV files. Uh, so there is a corresponding CSV file to every feed file in a separate uh, data folder. Uh, how could we use uh, those? Also from the decoder JavaScript file, how can we parse what we currently have in a better way? The feed files when selected on the front page should uh, display the content of the header um, and when we're selecting a corresponding CSV file well then we do something else we actually display the contents of the file uh, I'll give you an example of one uh, see how we can change the code and display the contents in an interesting way. 